Okay, this has been in the oven for 30 to 45 minutes. And Stuart, does it smell amazing? It does. Okay, now I'm gonna let it sit here. I have covered it, but I'm gonna check to see if the top apples are soft. Mm. Oh man, and the top apples are soft and it looks incredible. Now, I'm gonna cover it back up and it is going to sit here for five minutes. And while it is sitting there, we're going to make a sauce to go on top of it. In addition to the cherry sauce, the cherry orange sauce that comes with the recipe, we're gonna kind of shake it up a little bit, add a different silky texture to it. So um, let's do that while this is resting. The sauce that goes on the casserole after it's been made was actually assembled yesterday, and that's the beauty of this recipe. You can make it in advance. So what is in this cherry sauce? Well, it's got cherries. It's got, <laughs> it's got almond butter. Um, it's got orange zest. It's got, uh, what else does it have? Orange juice. It's got some warm water. It's got some, oh, different kind of aromatics. And, and I just wanted to kind of give it another whirl so it will pour over it easily. Now, what I am going to do is twofold. I'm gonna take this, and this has been resting now for about five minutes, am I right? Yeah. Probably five minutes. Okay, I'm gonna take this off. Look at that steam, Oh, That is just yummy, yummy, yummy. Look at the steam coming up. It's pretty cool, very visible. And look, <laughs> don't you love the little stars that it makes? when you slice your apples that thinly on a mandolin. Okay, now I'm pouring this cherry sauce over the casserole. You are twisting yourself up like a pretzel. <laughs> but you'll be rewarded with something delicious for doing that. Okay, now at this point, I am sprinkling on and in fact, Leah, could I get you to maybe zap these in the microwave? Because these are frozen cherries. So if you'll zap that in the microwave, because we're going to sprinkle the top with a little bit of sesame seeds. I cannot tell you guys how yummy this smells. Now I'm not gonna do a lot. Why? Because sesame seeds get caught in your teeth. And later this morning we're gonna, or later this afternoon we're gonna do a live, and I can see me doing a live and having a great big sesame seed in my teeth. Yeah, yeah. Please comment. Yes, please comment if Linda has anything in her teeth, and please do it nicely. Don't hurt my feelers. Okay, okay. Then I've got some chopped walnuts, and in my world you can never have enough chopped walnuts. Because as my mother-in-law used to say, anything without nuts in it isn't a calorie worth eating. It's becoming colorful. I know, isn't it pretty? It may not taste good. <laughs> I've never made it before, but I do think it's just beautiful. Leah, come look. Now, warm cherries. I've got warm cherries. Okay, does this not look decadent? And the fact that this is healthy, with a healthy, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> with a healthy, really high grain quinoa, and almond butter, and orange zest, and orange juice, and good anti-inflammatory. The fact you can eat sweets. Aromatics. The right way I know. It's pretty neat. And oh my gosh. It's silly that we don't do that all the time. Don't let any cherry juice ever go to waste. Mmm. <laughs> Warm cherry juice, no need for lipstick. Okay, now this basically is the completed casserole, quinoa casserole in a two quart dish. But to make it even that much more decadent, what we're going to do is I'm gonna pour the remainder of, actually I think what I'll do is I'm gonna do this. 
I need my right bowl. I need another oh, bowl oh. here. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I did not have my mise en place really ready to go. Okay, so now I'm going to take the remainder of this cherry juice and I'm going to pour it in a bowl. And then I'm going to hand it to Leah. And Leah, you can set this on the table. And by the way, this is our celebratory brunch for a thousand videos. Hubs made it back from Honduras last night. So he's going to be joining us. Um, okay, so now to make it that much more decadent, but also healthy, what I want to do for a textural contrast, this is kind of like putting ice cream on top of an apple crisp or a peach crisp or something like that, is I'm going to take some yogurt, and this is just low-fat, plain, organic yogurt. Wait, do you use uh, No, I don't, because I'm going to show you what we're going to do with this. Okay. I'm going to whir it up in here with the remnants of that sauce. Mm. Okay, I'm going to stir this up. And I'm going to make pretty much of this. In fact, I'm going to make this whole thing because what we don't consume will be absolutely yummy tomorrow if we don't consume the entire casserole tonight because in Hub's world, and in my world, here is my question of the day. It's all about the sauce. No matter what you're eating, if it's a steak and A1, if it is mashed potatoes and gravy, it's all about the sauce. Okay, so I've got my yogurt in there. Then I'm gonna add just a little bit of vanilla, not a lot, just a little bit, okay. And now what are we going to do it? We're going to add the magic. Now, Leah, what were you telling me about this Manacor honey that you swear? I swear it helped me not get sick. I was thought I was getting sick a few, like weeks, last week, I guess, after you were sick. I after was I was sick, she was afraid she was gonna get sick. And so we, and yeah. Every morning I would eat a spoonful. I kind of would wake up with a sore yeah. throat I mean, from a cold. Look and at I that. I would eat a spoonful and it was gone immediately. Okay. From my it's, sore throat. Is that not just yum? It looks just like liquid caramel. And I have to say lately, since I've been trying to be good at the new year and not eat so many sweets, what do I do? <laughs> I do this. Yep. And I just take. I make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and then I pour a little bit in my mouth afterwards. And, it's just... <laughs> and by the way, I don't know if you guys will be watching this before or after we do the Linda Vodder Live, but Monocora is definitely becoming one of our favorite sponsors for health, for wellness, and mostly for me just because it is just decadently delicious. So I put some of that in there. And now I'm going to whir together all of the residue of the cherry sauce, the manicura honey, the yogurt, the vanilla. And this is going to make a really yummy, creamy sauce that we will then pour over. Mm. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now, you could add more honey if you wanted it even sweeter. So what I might do is put this honey on the table and then you could put the quinoa casserole. You could put this and then on top of this, if you wanted even sweeter, you could put some monocura honey. Or more cherry sauce. Or more cherry sauce, exactly. So we'll put, though the cherry sauce is, um, it's a little bit more tart and orangey because of the orange juice and the zest. So it's the honey that's really sweetening things up. Okay, so now I'm going to put this in a pitcher. I mean, look at how yummy that looks. This is where, where we, it's really a pretend cooking show, but it kind of <laughs> looks like a real cooking show because we try to get those pretty shots for you <laughs> of this. Okay. 
And I am so hoping that this is as delicious as I think it is because this is definitely something that would be worth making. This is the kind of thing my son Johnny would love where you make it over the weekend and then you eat on it all week long for dessert, for breakfast, for whatever, because it's got all of the, the healthiness of the quinoa, the orange juice, the orange zest, the walnuts, the savories, all of those anti-inflammatories that are really, really good. And what else? What else? It will keep you regular <laughs> because it's got lots of fiber in it. Okay, so I say, I say, what do we, we plate this up. I say we plate this up, we call hubs, and we, um, we go for it. But first I want to show you my table setting that we have, um, that we have composed for our thousandth video celebration. And now for our thousandth video tablescape. It is all in uh, tones of blue and white. I do love it so. Starting with the foundation of these new runners that I love so much. Uh, I switched out the clay or orange colored one for this blue one. And then the remainder of the table was, in some ways it was inspired by, remember when we shot the video, the Christmas video at John Terman's, oh, yeah. and I was lusting after his wood chargers. Oh, yeah. So I treated myself to some of these for Christmas and I got some of these blonde wood chargers. They come in different tonal hues, but I wanted this one that kind of matched the vibe of my lit fed table and just my, my lighter wood. Now, what I have been dying to use are my sweet thrifted bowls and plates that I got at Goodwill. This is old Chelsea made in Stratfordshire, England. Yeah. And this one, yes, this one does have a little crack in it, but that's okay since I bought these for basically pennies. I am not going to put these in the dishwasher, but I thought that this will just be the perfect uh, type of plate for just a brunch because this isn't a big meal. This is just a brunch. So the quinoa casserole will be on this. And I, then I thought it would be fun to put our yogurt sauce in this and then everybody can just spoon out what they want onto their casserole. So I, I kind of I kind of liked that. Here's our delicious cherry sauce in a little glass bowl. I love this little bowl because it looks like a casserole dish. This oh, this belong yeah this belong a little mini like a Barbie <laughs> yeah a dollhouse casserole dish. Um, my centerpiece you guys have seen this before this this mums for as an investment flower are a great investment. Why? Because they really hang in there. And I've probably had this for two weeks now. Um, I think they're probably about to expire, but that's okay. Now you say, well, this will be kind of crowded when everyone sits down. And indeed it will, at which point, whether it's my Thanksgiving table or it's my thousandth video table, I will just remove this to the island and then we'll have plenty of space to talk and dine. I've got these wonderful candle holders. You guys saw these. I think I had these in autumn. They're part of a set of three. Um, and I just love them Very because natural. this, yeah, this is all about blue and kind of clay colors. I think of this as kind of a Sedona, Arizona color. And when I was talking to my son and daughter Del and daughter-in-law Delphia this morning, this is very much their color palette in Singapore. So I think that's kind of fun. The napkins I have had for a long time. I can't remember even where I got them. Um, I love these little white pitchers. These are so handy. Now, these reside typically above my stove, but what I love about them is this is what I use when I make my, my scented teas, my jasmine water. Um, it's also what I use when I am cutting herbs from the garden and I'm gonna be cooking with them. There's three different sizes and I like them because they're just eminently practical. I also love the fact that these blue glasses that I have had forever, that I bought for myself in college when I worked at Nomi's Ark gift shop in Edmond, Oklahoma. Boy, that's a flashback. <laughs> um, I love this color blue and I also love it because it perfectly matches this wine bottle that I have 
um, consumed the wine out of and now I'm using it as a water bottle. You guys have seen it before and then I just saved a blonde wooden cap. Um, one thing I have started doing as part of my new ritual and, and this was inspired really by my son in Denver. He said, Mom, I know you like the taste of Oklahoma City water out of the tap, which I do, but he said, nevertheless, I think now you and Dad need to start drinking filtered water. He, ha he has been doing that for years and I thought, okay, you know, there's no downside to do it and I do like having fresh filtered water in the refrigerator. So I have done that and now I have fresh filtered water that is cold in my water bottle. And notice that there is no ice because I think one thing that I'm going to start doing as an option when I entertain, not as a default, is do you or do you not want ice in your beverage glass because so many people, my sister included, have really, really sensitive teeth. And she said, I don't like to have ice in my drink and I'm always fishing it out because my teeth are so sensitive. And then when Leah said that she went to a, re a restaurant recently and they were sensitive enough to ask her, did she or did she not want ice in her ice water? She said, no, but thank you for asking because I don't. And I know in Europe that's a default, yeah. but here in America, the default is to always add ice. So now I'm not going to have one or the other as a default, I'm going to have it as an option. This water is already cold, I don't even think you need ice. Um, and so that's just another little lifestyle tip, I guess, that I, I would share with you that makes it seem not hoity-toity, but elevated because you're being so considerate of your guests. Have I forgotten anything on my table? Oh, the Monocora honey, in case anybody wants an additional dollop of, of sweet on their casserole. So I think it turned out kind of charming. I love the fact that I, and I'm gonna talk about this in a future video, the concept of banquettes and what makes them cozy or not cozy. And I definitely felt like I needed to add more pillows to my banquette to make it cozier because you may say, oh, don't they get in the way? Indeed not, because this is a very deep banquette. Stuart's nodding his head. He knows. Nice. Yeah. Good. And so you really need them to be able to sit forward because it's so, so deep. Yeah, and exactly. and if you're somebody like me that always needs back support, this to me made it more comfortable. So let me know your thoughts, comment below. Let me know if you like this vibe for the tablescape for my thousandth video brunch. So I pulled Hubs from in front of the cozy fire, sitting in his dad chair. Okay, so I say we plate some of this up. Hubs, we'll start with you since you're the great wanderer and you're now you are now back and need sustenance. Darn tootin'. Ooh, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's probably what is this? Yeah, <laughs> right, yeah what is here. this? This is baked quinoa and apple cherry breakfast casserole. Okay, now look at this, Hubs. Look, yeah, look at this. This is the part you like because why? It's always all about the sauce. Yes. I, yeah, it is. At the Vodder House, it's always all about the sauce. No, it is pretty yum. Okay. And then, Hubs, do you want additional cherry sauce on it? Just a, a touch and some, some of that honey over there. And some of the honey. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. So this is all about layering. And I have instructed all of them 
that if they don't like it, don't even say a word. <laughs> because well, a lot of too. yeah, because a lot of times, if I really like something, um, sometimes Hubs doesn't like it because we kind of like, you know, sometimes we like different things. But that's just that's just the way it is. So Leah, can I plate yes, some up for please. you? Yum. Uh, and oh my goodness, just anything that has cherries on it in January. And you know, cherry juice is incredible for you because it's got so many antioxidants and it's supposed to just be incredibly good for you. You gave Leah more cherries than me. I gave you more cherry. Oh my gosh. There you go. There you go. Okay, Stuart. Go for it. Now, is this kind of uh, an unconventional <laughs> brunch to celebrate a thousand videos? Well, I don't know if it is or not, because how many people celebrate a thousand YouTube videos? All I know yeah. is it's going to work for us. Stuart, are you going to gripe about not getting an extra cherry too? Uh, maybe. Okay. <laughs> I will let I will let you put on your own sauce. Okay. I can't do it yet. And yes, we've even got a candle lit, which is okay during the day because it's cloudy, it's gloomy outside, and we need anything we can get to cheer us up even more than the satisfaction of doing a thousand videos. So eat up, guys. Love it. Try it. You'll like it. Maybe. <laughs> And my outfit of the day is largely inspired by this wrap that belonged to my sister. I love it because it looks beautiful on both sides. I didn't see the, the design. Yeah, yeah, the, cool. and, it, and I've used it and I have worn it so many different ways. I've had this for years. And what I loved about it was not the static cling because boy is the air <laughs> is the air dry here i need to get in my humidifier in this room you probably could i'm sure i'm surprised i didn't flame on um, but what i loved about it was because that year i can't remember if it was for our birthdays or for christmas we shopped our own closets and we gave each other gifts of things that we already had. And I love that idea and I love this and it's been one of my favorite things. I've worn this on so many different occasions and I absolutely love it. Um, my top is from Free People. I think I got this at Nordstrom Rack many, many years ago and I love this. I really do love this kind of geranium red color. Okay, what's the fabric? Uh, I think it's just a cotton. Okay. Looks like kind crinkled of loose, cotton yeah um, the other thing that I love are my earrings because one of our favorite favorite oh, jewelry favorites. resources is Atrios tile and I think this shirt looks beautiful with these earrings now I talk so much about the earrings that I don't often mention the fact that she also makes beautiful bangles and she also made these bangles and I think they are just beautiful based on those fabulous Portuguese tile designs and I'm a girl who loves her bangles. Um, my britches are Banana Republic. Uh, my belt I think is from Nordstrom Rack and and these are my go-to uh, comfy cozy slippers. I think I've showed you these before. These are kind of a Kulabara, uh, Kulabara by Ugg. Anyhow, these are my go-to slippers for when it's cold outside and I am just kind of putzing around the house. So have I forgotten anything? I don't think so. So there you go. There is my outfit du jour. <laughs>